respected Greek-English lexicon by Liddell and Scott defines the Greek word anomia as the transgression of the law, lawlessness. That is the word used in 1 John 3, 4, which defines sin as the transgression of the law. In the book of Matthew, Jesus uses the same word. He said that not everyone who calls him Lord will enter into the kingdom of heaven, but only those doing the will of his Father which is in heaven. He said that one day many will come to him boasting of the many wonderful works that they have done in his name, only to be told that he never knew them, and that as workers of iniquity, anomia, transgressors of the law, they must depart from him. There is only one group of people who do wonderful things in the name of Jesus, those calling themselves Christians. Jesus said that many of them who willfully transgress the law will be told to depart from him. In spite of what Jesus said, today many Christian theologians would lead us to believe that the law has been nailed to the cross, that we no longer need to concern ourselves with the commandments that God wrote in stone. That is what our adversary, Satan, would like for us to believe, that we can be as God and decide for ourselves what is right and wrong. Don't believe it. That's what Satan told Adam and Eve, a lie which resulted in death. He was a murderer from the beginning and abode not in the truth because there is no truth in him. He is a liar and the father of it. Jesus spoke of the will of the Father. There is no doubt that the Ten Commandments define his will. Those commandments are sure. They stand fast forever and ever and are done in truth and uprightness. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. A good understanding have all they that do his commandments. His praise endureth forever. Earnestly contending for the faith once delivered to the saints, I'm Richard Reeves with Just the Facts.